Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Come on through the neighborhood. Guys, we are using the New Era Tarot deck, which I don't use often because they have like mother, father, daughter, and all that stuff. And the meanings in this deck is totally different than of that in a tarot deck, right? So these cards are black and white and grayish looking. So I hope you can see. But whenever a mother, father, daughter, son come out, I will have to refer to the book. Let's just do a quick reading. It may be quick. It may not be. What is going on, guys? Feel free to flip these energies. It may not even be about you. It could be about someone else. Uh, Holy Spirit. But don't. If it don't fit, don't force it, guys. Let's just roll with the punches. All right. Hangman is in reverse. This person is not in hangman anymore. And this is what the cards look like. They look like that. All right. So this person here doesn't necessarily have to be a man. Could be. I don't know. But they're not in hangman anymore. They're learning to follow their intuition. They could be playing around with tarot cards or whatever it is that they're doing. But this person, they're learning to follow their intuition to listen to their gut right that first warning that they get um they're over some cruelty somebody was cruel to this person they're over it they're not going to allow anyone to be cruel to them anymore they're pretty much over it and i guess there wasn't a success here they're not going back to the past they don't want to go back to it they said there was no success there. So now they're not a hangman anymore. They're learning to listen to their gut. They're not going to allow somebody to treat them like crap anymore, basically, to be cruel to them. See, we have a daughter of air in reverse. So I will refer to the book. Actually, let's do that now. Daughter of air. And let's see why this person is here. We got the son of air. Where's the daughter? The daughter of air in reverse this person here they are unwilling to concede a point they have the unwillingness to concede a point they become very vindictive and spiteful and they also use psychological abuse now see this person here this could be a man he's not in hangman anymore and because this person is not willing to bend and they're becoming very vindictive and all of this stuff and remember here he's tired of the cruelty and they use psychological abuse too. This person is very an intelligent, outspoken young woman who enjoys mental challenges. She possesses a strong sense of right and wrong and the willingness uh, to come to the defense of what she believes in. When challenged, she can become rash and aggressive. She herself has been wounded in some way and is now on a defensive. So this person has been very defensive. But this person here is over it. She's he he or I think it's a man. He's over the cruelty. He's over look, there was no success here. He's starting to follow his intuition when it comes to this person. He's he's pretty much over it. And she's being very vindictive right now. Um she's pissed. Now this man, I told you he's following his intuition. He wants new beginnings. Like a brand new baby. Look at that baby. That baby straight out the womb, right? Not even wrapped up yet. Baby right out. He want brand new beginning. Just ground zero all over again. Brand new beginnings. There is some wealth here on the table. This person could be wealthy. Um, and he's exploring his options. He's going back out there. He realized there was no success with this very vindictive person. Uh, this man could be very wealthy or he's building his wealth working on his wealth and then we have she's in despair she's in despair being very vindictive but now she's in despair because her vindictiveness is backfiring on her because see, he's over it now he's not in hangman he's not caught up nor shook it by this energy of this person He's moving forward because he's choosing to be happy. This is the sun card. He's over the shenanigans. He allowed this woman to be cruel to him for a little too long. And now he's choosing to go forward. He's not in hermit. This man is wide awake. 
He's choosing to stay away from this person. And it looks like he's choosing to focus on his money, his wealth, whatever he's building. He's definitely exploring. He done took a rocket. And this is the father of fire and the upright. All right, let's read the father of fire. Who are you, sir? Guys, I don't know where these cards fall. Mother of father, mother of fire, father of fire in the upright. This person is leadership, responsibility, uh, enthusiasm, and they're very generous with what they're doing. This person here, this, this powerful, self-confident man possesses a great level of integrity and self-awareness. He understands the importance of being true to himself and being honest with others. As a leader, he is utterly devoted to those entrusted in his care and always prepared to lead from the front, asking for nothing that he would not be willing to do himself. So, this is an older man. Life has lined the father's face, but his gaze is clear and his experiences has brought him to the insight and wisdom. So basically, over time, this man grew into himself. He's a very respectful person. He leads, he doesn't misuse, da 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 all of that stuff. But this woman here, been very cruel, been very vindictive. She was very cruel to this man for a very long time and then eventually he woke up. Like he's not stuck there anymore. He woke up to what this lady was putting out and he's pretty much over it. He's leading, he's exploring, he's out there. Then we have the father of water that jumped out. Who is this father of water, y'all? I'm, le I'm learning to love this deck. I may use it again, guys. Father of water, because I told you they have things to say. It's different. Mother water, father of water. This could be an injury, compassion. This person is achieving wisdom through suffering, balancing will, and instinct. This could be the same man um, as the King of Cups. So he has a lot of compassion, but he's he's achieving his wisdom now through suffering that he's been through with this uh, cruelty here. And now he's just learning to balance his will and his instinct with others. This man is emotionally mature. He is aware of and in tune with his own feelings, which makes him a wise counselor, a mentor, an advisor, his compassion for others helps him as a healer and a teacher. So I don't know if this woman was jealous of him or what, because this man had it going on and she was just a biatch, right? She was a biatchi. This is the moon card. He's learning to follow his intuition. He's happy. He's stepping out on faith. He's taking a new beginning. He's building his wealth and he's ending things. There's the death card. He's ending things with this lady here. He is ending things. And then we have Father of Earth. Let's go to the Father of Earth, guys. Father of Earth. There's the mother, father. And this one here. Came in the upright as well, Father of Earth. This person has a lot of endurance, uh, reliability, strength, patience, conservatism, possessions, order, and structure, and realism. Guys, this man right here is something else. He just put up with a lot with this person, and now he's over it. He has wealth. He has money. He leads others. He's very grounded. He's focused. He will, he will not... He will take the front in everything. It's not nothing he will not do for someone else that he's not willing to do for himself. This man is amazing. Uh, possessions, order, and structure, and realism. This is a practical, circumspect, and careful man. He has a clear understanding of his talents and abilities and how to apply them successfully. This has allowed him to find his place in life. He enjoys his achievements, but also likes to take care of the people close to him. We see an older man in simple street clothes. He looks at the viewer with a kind smile. He is unpretentious and approachable, and he has built his success on his experiences. Baby, she just lost her a, a hell of a man. She did. She lost a hell of a man. Holy Spirit, clarify this door of air in reverse. 
she's mad, she's vindictive, she's pissed off, and he's everything but that. He's running circles around this woman. Ten of Cups in reverse, I believe. That's ten repletion. Wait a minute, what is that? Ten repletion. What is that? Let me go to number ten. I think that's a, uh, what do you call that? What do you call that? Ten repletions. Where are my cups? Where's the water? What is it called in here? Air. Earth. I'm looking, guys. Hold up. It's worth it. Just wait. Eight, nine, ten. Repletion. And it's in reverse, right? This person, this woman here, has the inability to move beyond the present moment. So she did all this cruelty to this man. And now that he's moving on, she has the inability to move on. So you push this man to this point, And now you can't get it together. Mm, 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 mm. We have passed the point of culmination and are now sinking into the afterglow of an intense emotional experience. We are ready to let go with gratitude. This person needs to let go. The car shows a view over a quiet lake and 10 boulders in the water, summing up the number value of the car. The waters are clear and allow a view not just of the reflections of the landscape, but also of what is under the surface. This woman, while she's in the negative, she has the inability to move beyond the present moment. So she can't get past this, but he is, he did. Um, he just kept going. He just kept going. He, like he, he did laps around this woman and she was nothing but cruel to him and he's over it. Cruelty is in reverse. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to come back and do another reading with this deck. I, I really enjoyed it. Peace.